Greetings, everyone. Today I'm starting a new series involving proving trigonometric or trig identities. I'm calling it, What's Your Identity? What is your identity? Do you identify as one of these superheroes on the periodic table of superheroes? Whatever your identity, be yourself. Okay, how do we prove trigonometric identities? Well, we use other identities, such as the quotient identity, which is tan theta equals sine theta over cos theta, the Pythagorean identity, which is sine squared theta plus cos squared theta equals one, or other identities, such as double angle identities, reciprocal identities, and even others, depending on how sophisticated the identity is. When we have a, an identity like tan theta equals sine theta over cos theta, we, the restrictions are normally not mentioned, but we assume that the restriction, restrictions are understood. So for example, in this particular identity, you can't divide by zero, so cos theta cannot be zero. That means that theta cannot be plus or minus 90 degrees plus or minus 270 degrees, and so on. Or in radians, it can't be plus or minus pi by 2 radians, plus or minus 3 pi by 2 radians, etc. Or, for short, I could say that theta can't be plus or minus 2n plus 1 times 90 degrees, where n belongs to the whole numbers. In the last video, I explained that the whole numbers were 0, 1, 2, 3, etc. Or for radians, it could not equal plus or minus 2 plus 1, 2n two plus 1 pi by 2 radians with the same values of n. And by the way, when I write cos squared theta, for example, that means cos of theta squared. Mathematicians are lazy, so they put the two here and they don't put the brackets. But you need to understand what cos squared theta means. Other techniques you might use are factoring, expanding, getting a common denominator, whatever it takes. And there's other techniques that we'll run into later as well. But today, let's just prove this identity here. Cos theta minus sine theta over cos squared theta plus sine theta cos theta equals 1 minus tan theta over cos theta plus sine theta. Now, before we do, generally speaking, teachers will say you can only work on the left-hand side or the right-hand side or both sides until you simplify to the same point so that you can prove they're equal. That's generally true, but if this is true, there's nothing wrong with multiplying both sides by something or dividing both sides by something to get a different expression, which will then also be true. So as an exception, I'm going to do that in this particular case. Don't do it if your teacher doesn't allow it. Most people say work on one side and or the other side until you get the same expression. But here what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply both sides by cos theta plus sine theta. So the left hand side will become cos theta minus sine theta, which is what I already have, times cos theta plus sine theta over, and what, to save time, let's factor a cos theta out of here, leaving me with cos theta plus sine theta. The right-hand side will just be 1 minus time tan theta if I multiply it by that denominator. So I'll write that down later. Right off the bat, you should be able to see that these will cancel, keeping in mind the restrictions, because you can't divide by 0. So I'm going to end up with cos theta minus sine theta over cos theta. But now I'm going to do the reverse of getting a common denominator. I'm going to break it into two fractions. So the first one becomes cos theta 
over cos theta, and the second one becomes minus sine theta over cos theta. For example, if I started here and I went back up to that there, my co I already got a common denominator. That's, that's it right here. So I would just get cos theta minus sine theta. So you can do this, and we want to do that because cos theta divided by cos theta is 1. Sine theta divided by cos theta is tan theta. Obtain the right-hand side, because remember, after I multiply the right-hand side by that denominator, I get 1 minus tan theta. So at this point, you're supposed to say something like, since the left side equals the right side, therefore the original identity is true. However, when I was in school, we used to write down either QED, which is a Latin expression, which stands for, which was to be demonstrated, quad erat demonstratum. Or I like to just put a big fat check mark or better yet, smiley face. So if your teacher lets you do that, it's a lot easier than saying, since the left side equals the right side, therefore the original identity is true. Okay, stay tuned. We'll be doing some more interesting and complicated ones very soon.